Alrighty. Um, all right. Initiate the stream. Rabbi? Yes. Oh, hi. I, I didn't hear you almost. What, what did you say about text? Um, well, my phone is not operational at the moment. And uh, you were supposed to be here, or is um, somebody else doing the job that you guys were supposed to be doing? Um, my husband said he spoke to you, but um, I'm not quite sure what was the remaining of that arrangement. I have to talk to him. Maybe he's going to help you out the rest of the week. I don't know what he said to you, though. Well, he called earlier, but um, I was in the middle of something, and he never called back. So I don't know if he texted, because my screen is blank, so I, I uh, don't know. All right. I talk, talking to him, but he, he's, he's driving on the bus thing, and there's a lot of noise. Uh, I'll try in a little bit, see if he could connect with you. Well, I have a Bible study, so I, I'll, don't worry about it. I'll, ta I'll get somebody else to do it. Okay. Oh, okay. Thank you. Okay. All right, let's pray. Thank you, Jehovah, for your blessings today. This one's empty. Empty. I have to do a different one. Thank you, Lord, for your blessings today. Thank you for the really outstanding, beautiful day, especially since the rest of the country has got some really wild weather. Um, so we thank you for the blessings that you've given us, and we thank you for this really beautiful day. We thank you for this new year. May it be a year of people coming to know you and really um, really um, come to uh, follow you in spirit and truth. In your name, Yeshua. Amen. Amen. All right. Uh, we're going to be doing our third week on the study of Pesach. Okay. Vamos a empezar nuestra tercera semana uh, sobre el estudio de la Pascua. Okay, um, we're going to be on starting on slide 79. Okay, vamos a empezar con la página 79. We're, we're going, we're going to be st starting to go over uh, for this class. Vamos a ver en este estudio, en este estudio. The, uh, we're starting with the second cup of wine. Estamos, uh, vamos a empezar con la segunda copa de vino. We'll make believe this is wine. Vamos a decir que esta es una copa de vino. And it is said, Baruch Atah Adonai Elohinu Melech HaLam, Borei Pari Hagaven. Everybody says, Amen. Okay. Now, if we go on the slide number 80. Okay, si vamos la página 80. And it's interesting that we're starting this today. Y es muy interesante que estamos empezando esta página hoy. Because there's a person in Egypt. Porque hay una persona en Egipto. Who is suing Israel. Uh, que está demandando a Israel for the plagues for oh, the, the, the plagues in Exodus wow <laughs> and Egypt has always said that uh, it never happened y Egipto siempre ha negado que esas plagas pasaron so uh, um, it's interesting that we will be studying this today es muy interesante que yes, <laughs> es muy interesante que vamos a estudiar a empezar el estudio ahora um, Tristan, could you go find the mother unit? Because this is not going to work. Okay. Infants and Bible studies don't go together. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So what we're uh, uh, looking at today? Okay. Así que lo que estamos viendo ahora is the plagues. Son las plagas. The plagues are not just any old thing that happened. Las plagas no son algo que simplemente pasaron. It is basically a showdown of the gods. Es básicamente como um, los dioses uh, se encontraron. Demons want to be God. Los demonios quieren ser como Dios. So they, but they are not. Pero no son. But each one of these plagues that was going on Pero cada una de estas plagas que estaba pasando is a plague against an Egyptian demon god. Es una plaga en contra de un demonio uh, de Egipto. Okay, so when, when we look at these things, Cuando vemos estas cosas, that's the thought process we have to understand. Ese es el pensamiento que tenemos que tener. Is that 
It was our God, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Que fue nuestro Dios, el Dios de Abraham, Isaac y Jacob. Destroying the tenth highest God in Egypt. Destruyendo el diez uh, más poderoso Dios de Egipto. All the way up to the highest God in Egypt. Hasta el nivel más alto en Egipto. So let us turn to Exodus chapter 7, Shemot chapter 7. Así que vamos a empezar el estudio con Éxodo capítulo 7, versículo 17 al 20. Verse 17 through 20. Exodus uh, 7, 17 through verse 20. Exodus 7, verse 17 through 20. Éxodo 7, versículo 17 al 20. So it says, uh, so Jehovah says, this will let you know that I am Jehovah. I will take the staff in my hand and strike the water in the river and it will be turned into blood. The fish in the river will die and the river will stink and the Egyptians won't want to drink the water from the river. Jehovah said to Moshe, say to Aaron, take your staff, reach out your hand over the waters of Egypt, over their rivers, canals, ponds, and all the reservoirs, so that they can turn into blood. There will be blood throughout the whole land of Egypt, even in the wooden buckets and stone jars. Moshe and Aaron did exactly what Jehovah had ordered. He raised the staff, and in the sight of Pharaoh and his servants, struck the water in the river, and all the water of the river turned to blood. Okay? Um, so you see that every single thing of water was going to be turned to blood. Así que podemos ver que cada eh, río y um, uh, cosa que tuviera agua eh, se iba a convertir en sangre. You know, from the river. Los ríos. To the ponds. Uh, las, um, let me see, where, where? Ponds, uh, verse 19. Uh, arroyos, ríos, estanques. Okay. Um, and even said, like, the reservoirs here. Okay. Los, uh, los depósitos. Okay. And the, the, the wood buckets that people stored their, their water in. Y las cubetas de madera que tenían um, uh, el, la gente. Okay. So, imagine... You know, I, I think we've talked about this before here in this class. Así que imagínense, hemos uh, hablado uh, sobre este tema aquí en, uh, esta, en este estudio. Esta clase. Um, you know, how long have you ever gone without water? Uh, que, um, ¿Por qué tanto tiempo uh, han uh, estado sin agua? You know, not many people have gone more than a day without water. No muchas personas han uh, pasado más de un día. So here, every single Object. Así que aquí todo tipo de todo objeto that stored water que tenía agua was going to turn to blood. Iba a convertirse en sangre. And now they're being sued for it. <laughs> Ahora uh, los están demandando tantos años después. You know, there's somebody in Egypt that is suing Israel for all the plagues. Hay alguien en Egipto que está demandando a Israel por todas las plagas que pasó yeah, en, uh, no, en Egipto. And so uh, I don't know what the price you could put on that. Así que no sé qué precio pudieran poner a alguien en eso. But this was a god that the Egyptians prayed to. Pero este era un dios que los egipcios le oraban. That um, we're going to, if you go on to the next slide, slide 81. Si vemos aquí la próxima página, 81. There was a god called Osiris. Había un dios llamado Osiris. The, the God of earth and vegetation. El Dios de la tierra y la vegetación. And this God brought the rain. Y este Dios traía el agua. And brought the flooding, the, the fresh water. Y traía esa agua fresca. Um, and he was a, a, a God king who was believed to have given Egypt civilization. Y es, uh, ellos tenían la creencia que este Dios rey... Uh, había dado la, civiliz la civilización en uh, Egipto. So the very first plague that happened hit everybody. Así que la primera plaga que pasó uh, cubrió todo Egipto. In Egypt. Um, so you would hope that it would get people's attention. <laughs> Así que uno pensaría 
que esto llamara la atención de la población de Egipto. You know, where everybody would, um, you know, you had a glass of, uh, uh, you know, water. Donde todos tuvieran, por ejemplo, un vaso de agua. And I don't know if uh, anybody's ever drank blood before or y, had a bloody nose. Y no sé si ustedes hayan uh, probado la sangre uh, con tener uh, una nariz sangrienta. Like, like when I was a kid, I used to get bloody noses all the time. Como cuando yo era niño, a mí me... Me salía la sangre de la de nariz. And a lot of time the blood would, you know, go down the back of your throat, y right? Muchas veces uh, la sangre corre a, a aquí a la garganta. And um, you know, it's very salty, right? And it would leave that really bad taste in yes, your mouth. Yes, uh, algo como muy salado, What? algo. Yeah. Como yeah, amargo, like a, a very uh, um, uh, what is it? Uh, bitter. Yeah. Bitter. Um, so imagine if everything that you were going to drink Así que imagínense todo lo que iban a tomar turned into that flavor. Eh, tenía ese sabor. That would hopefully get your attention. Eso quizás llamaría tu atención. And that would be able to say that, well, their God came, beat our God. Y así ellos, uh, los, the Egyptians, uh, our God, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, el, el Dios de Abraham, Isaac, y Jacob, beat the Egyptian God. Le ganó a ese Dios Egipto. So this God that they were praying to, así que este Dios que ellos oraban, um, was now going to not be giving you fresh water. Ahora ese Dios no te iba a dar esa agua fresca. So this was the very first plague. Así que esta fue la primera plaga. And it really didn't get people's attention. Y no llamó la atención de Egipto. <laughs> it didn't get the leader it really didn't get the leadership's attention which no, it needed to. No llamó la atención del liderazgo que se necesitaba esa atención. And why we study this. ¿Y por qué estudiamos esto? So you need to study these plagues and the book of Exodus. Se necesita que estudiar este libro en Éxodo. If you're going to understand anything in the book of Revelation. Si vamos a entender algo en ese libro de Apocalipsis. Go ahead. Okay. Um, well, I would like to, um, you know, maybe make a comparison or, a, you know, with uh, everything that's with the weather, with this weird weather that we've been having here in the United States where, you know, you're having snow in the strangest places, you know. Wait till, uh, wait till uh, the big yeah, I know. volcano in Yellowstone blows. I know. And I mean, you know, because this would, this would seem awful similar to that, you know, especially being that this is the weather, you know, and this involves, you know, the rain, you mm -hmm. know, from the skies and all that. Well, that's, you know? that's why why I make it such a point to s to make sure we study this. Uh, por eso uh, quiero uh, dirigir la atención cuando estudiamos esto. Um, because when you notice what Jehovah is doing around the globe, cuando, as Juan was talking Cuando about, empiezan a notar cosas que Jehová hace a través del mundo. Three of the biggest volcanoes are about to erupt. Hey, Betsy. Lo, los uh, tres volcanes más grandes del mundo están a punto de estallar. You know, this past weekend there was earthquakes in Yellowstone Park. Esta semana pasada hubo temblores en el uh, park in Yellowstone. Where's that in North Dakota, is it? Or in South Dakota? Where's Yellowstone National Park? Yellowstone, yes. Uh, <laughs> Hey, Mr. Ranger. Anyway, okay. it's out west. I forgot what state it's in. Que está en el oeste. Um, and they say that's the biggest volcano underneath the ground. Y dicen, se ha dicho uh, que ese es el uh, volcán más grande debajo de la tierra. So when you see these plagues happening. Así que cuando vemos estas plagas que estén pasando. And more people pray to these gods today than ever before. Y muchas personas oran a estos dioses más que nunca. You know, you see the American Indians doing the rain dances and things well, like that. Pueden ver los, uh, los uh, nativos de América, los uh, indios It's de América. It's in Wyoming. Que ellos um, uh, bailan o bailaban para traer la lluvia. And no, I think, well, I got into a lot of fights, but it wasn't that. It was, Steve's saying, they got bloody noses from that. I would sneeze and oh. it would blow up. <laughs> okay, so let's go on to the next slide. The next. Uh, okay. Pro próxima let, página. Let's, uh, uh, we're on slide 82. Uh, página 82. 
Let's now look at Exodus 7, verse 23 through 25. Vamos a ver a Éxodo 7, versículo 23 al 25. Yeah, I forgot where he else was. <laughs> Pharaoh just turned and went back to his palace without taking any of this to heart. All the Egyptians dug around the river for water to drink because they couldn't drink the river water. Seven days after Jehovah had struck the river. So imagine not having any fresh water except to dig underground for seven days. Así que imagínense no tener agua al no ser que tengan que escarbar siete, how many? Seven days. Siete días para poder alcanzar agua. You know, it's, it's a desert. Es un desierto. It's the growing season. Uh, es uh, uh, tiempo de crecer la vegetación. And you're not able to water your plants. Y no pueden uh, dar agua a sus plantas. So now you're you're going to you're, a lot of your vegetation is going to die also. Ahora mucho de la vegetación va a perecer. If the vegetation die, the animals die. Si la vegetación, si no hay vegetación, entonces los animales no tienen nada que comer y van a morir. Because they got nothing to eat. And uh, the animals die and the vegetation die. Si la vegetación muere y los animales mueren. What happens to you? Entonces, ¿qué pasa con nosotros? And what's going on in the world today? ¿Y qué es lo que está pasando a través del mundo? What's happening in the Middle East? ¿Qué está pasando en el Medio Oriente? Well, the water is not turning red at the moment. Bueno, pues el agua quizás no se esté uh, formando como sangre o rojo. But they're having the worst drought they've had on record. Pero están teniendo la uh, peor uh, sequía eh, en el uh, record. In all the Muslim countries. En todos los uh, países musulmanes. And what happens to the nuclear reactor that Abinajab was building? ¿Y qué pasa con esa um, uh, uh, factoría uh, nuclear? No water. What happens si to the nuclear devices? Si no hay agua, entonces qué va a pasar con ese equipo que uh, usa la la energía nuclear. They melt. Entonces van a derretirse. And explode. Y van a explotar. No. But it's paralleling what happened in Exodus. Pero esto está, uh, es un paralelo con lo que pasó aquí en el Éxodo. They, they didn't have a drought, but everything turned bad. No tenían sequía, pero todo se convirtió en malo. But when you do see this happening around the globe, there's been a lot of this lately. Pero cuando miren que esto esté pasando eh, en el mundo y hemos visto esto últimamente. Remember last summer what happened in China. Acuérdense la el verano pasado lo que pasó en China. And the pictures were amazing. Y los las fotos fueron asombrantes. Their main river turned blood red. La el río más grande que tiene en la China se convirtió rojo okay. como sangre. Going on to slide number 83. Okay, continuando con la página 83. Chapter 8, please. Okay, uh, Exodus cap chapter 8. Exodus capítulo 8. Verse 2 through 4. Versículo 2 al 4. We're going to be looking at the next plague. Okay, vamos a ver la próxima plaga. Okay, the, pl the second plague is the plague of frogs. La segunda uh, plaga fue uh, de las ranas. Which is in Hebrew, Zephardea. Uh, que en el hebreo se pronuncia Zephardea. 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 Okay. If you refuse to let them go, I will strike all your territory with frogs. The river will swarm with frogs. They will go up, enter your palace, and it go into your bedroom, into your bed. They will enter the houses of your servants and your people and go into your ovens and kneading bowls. The frogs will climb all over you, your people and your servants. Okay? So the next plague is going one step up from the water god. La próxima plaga está subiendo a un nivel más alto de esa um, dios del agua. Uh, so you would think that after the water turned blood red for seven days, nothing would come out of it. Uno pensaría que después que el agua se convirtiera en sangre, que nada hubiera pasado después. Except for dead floating fish. Uh, excepto ver uh, peces uh, que hayan muerto. Because if the water's turning blood, porque si el agua se está convirtiendo en there's sangre, there's no oxygen in the water. Entonces no hay oxígeno en el agua. So frogs, where do they lay their eggs? Así que las ranas, ¿dónde es donde ponen su cría, sus uh, los huevos y in, todo eso? In the in the river water. En los ríos. And then the eggs hatch into tadpoles. Y luego las uh, salen las las ranas. Uh, 
de ahí. The reason we're going over all this la razón que estamos viendo todo esto is because there's some very fascinating scientists out there porque hay muchos uh, científicos muy fascinantes who say that one plague led to the next plague que dicen que una plaga uh, últimamente llegó a la otra plaga in a uh, um, Uh, not that our God was doing it, but that because the river did this, then the frogs did this. No es porque nuestro Dios estaba haciendo esto, pero uh, dicen que eh, el agua como se convirtió en sangre, entonces eso llegó a las ranas que hicieran lo, el próximo paso. So look at verse 3. Así que vamos a ver el versículo 3. The river will swarm with frogs, they will go up into your palace and go into your bedroom, into your bed, they will enter the houses of your servants and your people will go into your oven and they will go and your people and go into your ovens and kneading bowls, okay? So, he's saying it's coming from the river. Él está diciendo que esto está viniendo del río. If the river turned blood, si el río se convirtió en sangre, for seven days, por siete días, all the fish would die. Todos los peces hubieran perecido. And everything else in there also. Y todo lo que es del agua hubiera hecho lo mismo. The, 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 the uh, frog eggs are not going to hatch. Entonces esos uh, huevos de las ranas no iban a criar uh, ranas. Because there's going to be no sunlight. Porque no va a haber luz. Sunlight doesn't really pass through blood. La luz no va a penetrar uh, la sangre. So when you're having people say, well, You know, this one led to that one. Así que cuando las personas dicen, uh, esta plaga pasó y nos llegó a la próxima plaga. It's not physically possible. No es posible físicamente. That's why it's so amazing that what God did. Es por eso que es tan asombrante lo que hizo Dios. Well, then the scientists say, well, all the fish were dead, so there was no... Um, fish to eat all the eggs. Entonces los uh, científicos dicen, uh, si... si Um, si se convirtió en sangre, entonces los peces no hubieran comido los uh, huevos de las ranas. No, no so, eggs, no oxygen, the eggs don't hatch. No hay oxígeno, no hay uh, uh, luz, entonces los huevos no pueden uh, tener, no pueden salir las ranas. Now the, the interesting thing about this Así que la cosa más interesante de esto is the frogs did come out of the, the river es que las ranas salieron, se criaron de, ese, de los ríos and they went into Your bed. Y llegaron a tu cama. Why are they going to go in your bed? Porque es que van a llegar a tu cama. No, isn't that going to be icky? Uh, eso no sería algo uh, Dan, extraño. you want some frogs in your bed? ¿Quieres ranas en tu cama? <laughs> you know, you're not going to go sleep in there, right? No, no vas a dormir ahí. <laughs> you know, you're not going to do married things in there. No, no vas a hacer, uh, no vas a tener tus relaciones ahí. Okay. Um, what is another attribute of the frog? ¿Qué es otro uh, um, atributo de la rana? They are cold-blooded animals. Son uh, animales que tienen sangre fría. Mm. And so it says they're going to go into your ovens and your kneading bowls. Así que dice que van a entrar en tus hornos y uh, en tus uh, artesas. So the frog is in your oven. Uh, así que la rana está en tu horno. And you light the oven. Y prendes ese horno. They're not going to know to get out of the oven. No van a saber uh, que tienen que salir de ese orden. They're going to die in your oven. Van a morir en el orden. And they can have fr frog's legs. Y puedes comer uh, <laughs> piernas de rana. Okay. This also parallels Revelation. Así que eso también da un paralelo con el Apocalipsis. As the plagues get worse. Cuando las plagas uh, se... Uh, se hacen peor. Or the seal judgments. O los sellos. People don't know the turn back. Las personas no saben cómo regresar. They just keep staying in the oven because they're cold-blooded. Ellos se van a quedar en el horno porque no van a saber cómo poder regresar. That's why God Dios. says, that's why God says, es por eso que Dios dice, you have a heart of stone. Tienes un corazón de piedra. Because it's like, it's cold. Porque es frío. I want to give you a heart of flesh. Yo te quiero dar ese corazón de, uh, de carne. So you'll know to get out of the heat when it gets too much. Para poder salir de ese horno cuando se ponga muy caliente. Going on to slide number 84. Uh, continuando con la página 84. This uh, 
was another fight against the god of Egypt. Esta fue otra pelea con uh, en contra de otro demonio dios de Egipto. This was the uh, against the god Hect or H E C K H E K T. Okay, el dios uh, llamado Hect que se deletrea H E K T Hect. The wife of the creator of the world. Y este dios era la esposa, supuesta so, esposa del creador del mundo. So, um, here the Lord was saying, you want that God? Así que Dios, nuestro Dios, estaba diciendo, ¿tú quieres uh, adorar a ese Dios? I'll give you so much of that God. Yo te voy a dar tanto de este Dios. That God could be in your bed. Que ese Dios va a estar en tu cama. In your oven. En tu horno. In your shower. Eh, aquí donde te bañas. It's going to be everywhere. Van a estar en todas partes. And we'll see how much you like that God. Y van a ver, a ver cuánto quieren a ese Dios. But this is the... Um, the principal goddess of the land. Pero esta era una diosa que era encargada de la tierra. And she was uh, the one who brought forth the grain. Y ella era la que traía el grano de la tierra. And bringing new life. Y traer nueva vida. And uh, she would touch the lifeless. Uh, y ella podría tocar a aquellos sin vida. And she's shown holding that ankh, that cross, with, the ankh is, a, is a, uh, an Arabic word. Oh, okay. Uh, y ella es uh, um, en, en retratos que tienen en las pirámides, in the pyramids. Yeah. Uh, es, una, es una mujer que, que está deteniendo esa cruz, eh, está deteniendo una cruz con un, como un ojo. Looks like it's got a head. Yeah. Parece una cabeza arriba. De la, uh, de esa cruz. And there's, you know, Egyptians that say, no, that's the cross. Y los egipcios dicen, no, oh, esa es la cruz. It's not the cross. No, cross. Es, no es la cruz. It is, a, it is a pagan god. Es un, uh, es un dios pagano. And it is not anything that we should have. Y no es algo que nosotros deberíamos de tener. So it, it, it looks like a cross and uh, with, a, with a, a round top. Así que parece una cruz con una cabeza redonda arriba. So this was our, our king sending, I'll give, you, I'll give you that God. Así que este es nuestro Dios, nuestro rey, mandando ese Dios a los egipcios. So, you know, you would thought people would catch on by now. Y uno pensaría que esto llamaría la atención like, de los egipcios. Like, like why are all these things happening? Uh, ¿Por qué? Uno se haría la pregunta, ¿por qué están pasando todas estas cosas? You would think that the same would be for us right now. Uno pensaría que eso estuviera diciendo la gente hoy día. Go ahead, Sandy. Yeah, that's what I wanted to, it's kind of like what's going on now, that basically this is happening again. Yes. And just like the, a lot of people out here doesn't know why it's happening, you know, the change of weather, how it's going to be like, or they come in and say, oh, It was a sign. The, que the question is. La, pre la pregunta es. For those that didn't hear on the. On para aquellos que no escucharon. Was. We're, we're paralleling it today. Estamos comparando esto con lo que está pasando hoy día. But back then they didn't have internet and television and radio. Pero en aquel entonces no tenían internet o radio o televisión. But this was <laughs> happening all over Egypt. Pero esto estaba pasando uh, sobre todo, uh, todo el terreno de Egipto. And the Jewish people had been living in Egypt for 400 years. Y el pueblo de Israel estaba viviendo en esa tierra por 400 años. So they knew about the God of Abraham. En, entonces ellos conocían el Dios de Abraham. But they didn't want to listen. 
pero ellos no querían escuchar. And then also remember, Torah lives inside of every person. Y acuérdense que el Torah vive dentro de cada uno de nuestros corazones. Even though it wasn't written on paper at this point. Aunque no hubiera estado escrito en este punto. So that's why it's very important for you to open your mouth wherever you are. Así que es muy importante para poder abrir la boca donde quiera que estén. Well, the, the key is, is that this was happening in one place for an example. Uh, esto estaba pasando aquí, uh, por ejemplo. Written down. Estaba escrito. So that now we in our lives. Para que ahora en nuestras vidas. We'll be able to see and tell everybody. Podemos ver y poder llamarles o darles um, esa información. A personas. But the Bible has gone out to pretty much all the world. Pero la Biblia ha salido, ha, ha sido traducida eh, casi en todo Television, el mundo. radio, internet. Televisión, radio, internet. They should know. Ellos deberían de saber. And he's giving us time before he does open that first seal. Y él nos está dando tiempo antes de que abra el primer sello. Because, you know, Mad, like as I said with the first plague. Así que como he dicho en la primera plaga. Imagine not having water for y, seven days. Imagínense no tener agua por siete días. It's going to be a big problem. Va a ser un problema muy grande. But we saw a lot of the water turning blood red last summer. Pero hemos visto que mucha de la agua en chi en China se and in other places of the world. Y en otras partes del mundo. Uh, que se convirtieron en uh, sangre. And this year it's going to be even worse in the Pacific Ocean. Y este año va a ser peor en el uh, Océano Pacífico. Because there's been many of the fish dying from the radiation. Porque muchos peces han perecido por causa de la radiación que salió de Japón. You're going to start seeing a lot more red tide. Y van a ver eh, cuando entre el mar más rojo. And then what was it, two or three years ago when that... Uh, gas platform blew up in the Gulf of Mexico. Y dos o tres años atrás, esa plataforma del gas uh, que eh, estalló en, uh, en el Golfo de México. And that oil was coming out of the ground. Y todo ese um, uh, aceite que estaba saliendo de, de It killed much of the fish. del mar, uh, mató a muchos de los uh, peces. And what happened to the water? Y qué pasó con el agua? Turned red. Se convirtió roja. God is trying to get our attention. Dios está llamando nuestra atención. So, we all know the account of what happens finally at the end. Pero todos sabemos lo que pasa al final. The firstborn had to die from everyone in Egypt. El primogénito murió en, uh, en Egipto. There's going to be a lot of dead people in the world this time. Van a haber muchas personas muertas en, en este mundo esta vez. You don't want to live in that world. No quieren vivir en ese mundo. But that's where we're headed. Pero ahí es donde vamos ahorita. Because we're not learning. Porque no estamos aprendiendo. You, know, you tell the child not to touch the stove. Le decimos al, al niño que no toque la estufa. Some kids got to get burned. Muchos niños se tienen que, le, se tienen que quemar. And then they finally stop touching the stove. Entonces finalmente ellos paran de, de tocar la estufa. So Jehovah has this as a testimony to himself. Así que Jehová tiene este para un testimonio para sí mismo. And when the lost city of Goshen was found a few years ago. Y cuando esa ciudad de Goshen fue encontrada hace unos años atrás. And this entire story was in the pictures dating over 2,000 years old. Y todos estos hechos de esta historia fueron encontradas en esa ciudad. It proves what we're looking at. Comprobó lo que estábamos, lo que estamos leyendo. But as we study these gods, Pero como estudiamos estos dioses, you see that we are still doing these same things today. Podemos ver que las personas aún están haciendo estas mismas cosas hoy día. Maybe we don't openly pray to the water god. 
Quizás uh, no oremos a un Dios del agua. But did you ever pray before you were a believer? Pero oraron antes de que ustedes sean You're going to the beach? Creyentes. You're going to the beach? Iban a la playa, por ejemplo. Oh, Lord, make the day beautiful so I can go in the water. Oh, Señor, uh, haz este día bello para poder entrar al agua. You know, there's been a lot, you know, they're simple prayers and they're not sí. meant to another God. Son, uh, um, son oraciones simples y no son para otro Dios. But there's people praying out in California right now. Pero hay mucha gente que está orando en California. Because they're in a serious drought. Porque ellos están en una uh, sequía muy fuerte. So they've been praying to whatever God. Mm -hmm. Así que ellos están orando uh, a otro Dios. But remember oh, what it I, says in I, Proverbs. Pero acuérdense lo que dice en Proverbios. In Proverbs 28.9. Proverbios 28.9. Whoever just texted me, I can't see my screen, so... I'm um, sorry, I can't get to your message. <laughs> My phone broke. Until later. Uh, you had a question? So, uh, no, actually, uh, there, there was a news story um, a couple, like a month ago, like a month and a half ago, where a bunch of uh, people, pastors, and everybody, uh, I think, gathered in Utah or something like that, and they started praying for, you know, for, for, for rain to, to come to California. Mm -hmm. and all that. Yeah, it was in Utah. And uh, for a while, it started raining, but it kind of like, you know, started creating all these mud, you know, puddles and slides and, you know, all that other stuff, you know, where people started, uh, it started coming knee deep. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so I, I saw that as a, you know, like a... Because rain's like, got to be gentle. Like like the Lord, you know, bringing these frogs. Oh, yeah, you want <laughs> you want frogs. You, you want <laughs> frogs, I'll give you frogs. Yeah, so, so you want rain, do you? You yes. know, and, and he, like, brought too much of it. And like you were mentioning, it was snowing in San Francisco today. Yeah. Just back to the point I was making earlier, you know, so much of it is coming out of your nose. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I love the Lord when he gets sarcastic. But um, <laughs> it, this is here... For us, so that when we start seeing these signs, esto es para nosotros. Cuando nosotros empecemos a ver estas señales, we get ready. Nosotros uh, podemos uh, estar listos, preparados. Because these signs weren't against people yet. Porque estas señales no fueron en contra de la gente. It starts with the land. Empezó con la tierra. As it goes further. Uh, cuando continúa, it starts to affect the people. Empieza a afectar las personas. The animals. Los animales. And it's the same that we see in Revelation. Y es lo mismo que vemos en Apocalipsis. So let's go on to the next slide, slide number 85. Vamos a la próxima página, 85. Let's look at verse, chapter 8, verse uh, 8 through 10. Vamos a ver el capítulo 8, versículo 8 al 10. Then Pharaoh summoned Moshe and Aaron and said, Intercede with Jehovah to take the frogs away from me and my people, and I will let the people go and sacrifice to Jehovah. Moshe, Moshe said to Pharaoh, Not only that, but you can have the honor of naming the time when I will pray for you, your servants and your people to, rid, uh, to be rid of the frogs, both yourselves and, and your homes, and that they stay only in the river. He answered, Tomorrow. Moshe said, It will be as you have said, and from this, you will learn that Jehovah our Elohim has no equal. Okay. So you see mm -hmm. that you get to name the time. Así que podemos ver que tú puedes decir qué tiempo. So Carmen Luch, you get to name the time. Así que Carmen, puedes uh, de, uh, decidir qué tiempo. So that you'll know that your prayer has been answered. Para saber, conocer que tu oración ha sido aceptada. And most people uh, will hopefully turn and go, yeah, that's my God. Y muchas personas quizás dirán, sí, ese es mi Dios. But we do have your, your story. Pero sí tenemos tu uh, cuento, tu historia. You went to your, co your cousin. Mm. I think it was a cousin or a family friend. The one with the brain stuff. Yeah, yeah, my brother. Your nephew's wife. Okay. Uh, fueron a ver la esposa de su sobrino. You know, 
the, the one with the brain lesions. Uh, tenía en, you pray uh, over them. Cabeza, en el, en el you put the anointing oil on uh, them. Oraste, uh, sobre esa persona, they get healed. El aceite, se fueron sanados. And did they turn to the Sabbath? Y ellos vinieron did al they start Shabbat? following Torah? Ellos, uh, siguieron el Torah? No. No. So there's your answer, Sandy. Así que ahí está tu respuesta. The Forrest Gump answer. The, el, la respuesta for is gone. Life is like a box of chocolates. You mm -hmm. never know which one you're going to get. Mm -hmm. You know, here, a miraculous sign and wonder. Aquí, un milagro. Healing of brain lesions. Que, uh, se sanó una lesión en el, uh, el cerebro. And this person doesn't turn. Y esta persona no se arrepiente. But neither did Pharaoh. Pero tampoco el faraón. What does it take for us to turn? ¿Qué fue, qué necesita que pasar para nosotros poder arrepentirnos? Pharaoh loses everything. El faraón pierde todo. Don't worry. She will too. No te ocupes, ella también. Because the Lord had never changed. Porque el Señor no cambia. And he doesn't like when you don't thank him. Y él no le gusta cuando tú no le das las in gracias. Spirit and in truth. En espíritu y verdad. Because we see this in verse 10. Porque vemos esto en el versículo 10. You get to name the time. Tú puedes uh, decidir qué tiempo. And I love what it says at the end of the sentence. Y me gusta lo que dice aquí en, al final de la oración. That Jehovah our Elohim has no equal. Que Jehová no hay otro. Does it say él. that in the... Uh, uh, que no hay como Jehová nuestro Dios. That there is no one like Jehová. No God. equal. Yeah. Okay. So he's trying to show us that I'm going to beat up every little God. Así que él está uh, mostrando que yo voy a uh, dar abasto con todos estos uh, dioses. And, um, right? Dar abasto. Dar abasto con... Uh, okay. So... They were praying to this God. Así que ellos estaban orando a este Dios. And I'm going to give you this God. Yo te voy a dar ese Dios. I'm going to give you so much of this God. Te voy a dar tanto de este Dios. You ain't going to want this God. Que no vas a querer este Dios. You can bring too much of you to me. I won't mind. Uh, tú puedes traer todo lo que tú quieras de mí. You, you can keep pouring out. Así que puedes darme todo esto. That's Dios. cool. I will never tell you to get uh, away from me. Yo nunca te voy a decir que te alejes de mí. Going on to the next slide. Okay, continuando con la próxima página. We're going to look now at the third plague. Vamos a ver la tercera plaga. We're on slide 86. Okay, estamos en la página 86. Um, the third plague is called Canim. Uh, la tercera, well, uh, not the plague, the... Uh, the uh, third is plague. It, is it uh, God? Canim? The third plague. Oh, okay. We're going to the third plague. Oh, okay. Blood, but, but frogs, this, this is the third plague. Oh, okay. Because we already talked about the God. Okay. Uh, la tercera plaga es llamada... Kinim. Okay, it means gnats or lice. Uh, let me see. Piojos? Okay. Okay. Piojos. Now, gnats. haven't we recently been seeing a real uh, lot of these in the school systems? Ahora, hemos visto mucho de esto que ha... What is uh, it? Nudos? Nudo? Noodles? Noodles. Noodles. Veronica. Piojos? Piojos? Okay, here it says jejen. For net. Jejen. I don't know what that is. Chicken and noodles? What? They got, uh, they got, yeah. <laughs> ham? I don't like ham either. As he starts scratching it. <laughs> is that is that like a like a bed bug or a esos? Jejen. Okay. Okay. Anyway. Dentro de la madera. Okay. So a jejen is a, a something that eats like the wood or something like termites. I That's think. more like a termite. Yeah. 
right. Uh, well, these aren't termites. Okay. Esto no son uh, los termitas, I think. That's All right. So let's look at chapter 8, verse 16 through 18. Okay. Así que vamos a ver Éxodo, capítulo 8, versículo 16 al 18. Jehovah said to Moshe, say to Aaron, reach out your staff and strike the dust on the ground. It will become lice through all the land of Egypt. They did it. Aaron reached out his hand with the staff and struck the dust of the ground, and there were lice on the people and animals. All the dust of the ground became lice through the whole land of Egypt. The magicians tried with their secret arts to produce lice, but they couldn't. There were lice on the people and animals. Okay, just to reference... The magicians could mimic the first two plagues. Así que uh, podemos ver que aquí los uh, um, los hechiceros pudieron um, uh, pudieron duplicar uh, las primeras dos plagas. Yes. And now with the third plague, pero con esta tercera plaga, um, they could not mimic what was going on. No podían uh, uh, match. No podían duplicar esto, eh, esta, tercera, esta tercera plaga. And now it's going at the people. Y ahora esto, esta plaga está llegando a la gente, you al know, pueblo. The, frog, the frogs were disgusting if you stepped on one. Las, las, las ranas eran algo eh, eh, extraño si, si pisabas, you know, si frog pisoteabas. Frog guts between your toes is just gross. Uh, cuando pisas <laughs> esa rana no se va a sentir muy bien. But now, imagine getting this in your hair. Pero ahora imagínate que estos animales lleguen on a tu pelo skin, y que lleguen aquí a tu piel. Digging in your, in, everywhere. Y llegar a, eh, todo, en todas partes de tu cuerpo. And remember, they didn't have underwear. Ahora acuérdense que ellos no tenían uh, uh, ropa no, interior. That, just to give you a picture, they ain't got underwear on. Es uh, para darte mejor... Uh, uh, Pintarte mejor el cuadro. Ellos no tenían ropa interior. Okay, you got all these bugs. Everybody's going. Everybody's going. Tienen todos estos piojos. Tienen todos estos piojos. I remember when I was in college over there in Texas. You know the uh, the crickets? Like, I mean, they would be like that. The ground would be black with crickets. Like, I mean, whenever I would go, like, back to my dorm and all that, you know, where the lights were. I remember it was like, ugh, you know, because you would be crunching on. All well, the crickets them. you can eat. Yeah, the crickets you can, but I can imagine, you know, like that's, you know, that being like frogs or something, you know. The ma the Lord allowed the magicians to make the water turn to blood, and He allowed them to do the frogs. Let you choose. Eh, así que los hechiceros podían duplicar las primeras dos plagas, pero estaba al, eh, dejando esto, permitiendo que esto pasara para que el pueblo pudiera decidir lo que querían hacer. But they get rid of them. Pero no podían deshacerse de ellos. La primera parte los hechiceros podían hacerla, pero no la segunda parte. So now, uh, I remember Evelyn uh, telling me there was a really bad plague in New York City with the lice and the Bed bugs and things like that. Uh, Evelyn me había dicho que había una plaga muy muy mala acá en uh, Nueva York, uh, donde había uh, piojos y uh, chinches, I think. But but more more so than than it's been in recent past. Pero más uh, que uh, que en el uh, pas reciente pasado. But this, as you see here, was all throughout the land of Egypt. Pero aquí podemos ver que esto pasó en todo el terreno de Egipto. And now it's hitting each and every person. Ahora esto está llegando a la persona. Okay. So now the people are going to start getting angry with their leadership. Ahora las personas se van a empezar a enojar con el liderazgo. Because, you know, before this the leadership could have been like the Democrats and just lie. Porque esto antes uh, el liderazgo hubiera sido como los demócratas que hubieran mentido. Like Obama and his people are just constantly lying. Como Obama y su gente siempre están mintiendo. Okay, so and, and a fair amount of Republicans are doing it now too. Y también yeah. muchos republicanos también están haciendo lo mismo. So, but now, now it's hitting you in your house. Pero ahora esto está llegando aquí en tu casa. Now you got bugs all over the place on you. Ahora tienes todos estos uh, insectos uh, alrededor. It's on your kids. Están en tus uh, niños. You tus... can't sleep. No puedes dormir. It's going up your nose. Están llegando a tu nariz. You know, you snore. Están llegando aquí mientras duermes. 
you know, going in your ears. Están entrando en tus uh, oídos. Yeah, but nothing. So the Lord is trying to get everybody's attention. Ahora aquí el Señor está tratando de llamar la atención. Like now I gotta go to the bathroom. Let's go on to the next slide. Okay, vamos a la próxima página. Okay, uh, we're gonna uh, learn about the God that the Lord was striking down. Okay, vamos a aprender sobre ese uh, Dios demonio de Egipto. The word kinim means to dig. La palabra kinim uh, significa uh, escarbar. So the this bug that was being that came out of the the sand. Así que este animal que salió de la arena. Was not just going into your holes. No solamente estaba entrando en la um, donde tienes abierto. What was that movie? Um, uh, the Mummy. The Mummy. Yes. Yeah, remember the mummy? Uh, si han visto la película esa llamada the Where mummy, the, the thing dug under the skin? Donde entraba el animal dentro, dentro de la piel. That's what happened in the scriptures. Eso fue lo que pasó en la escritura. Those bugs dug under your skin. Esas, uh, esos insectos se enterraban dentro de tu uh, piel. And then they get into your bloodstream. Y luego llegaban a tu, uh, en la sangre. And caused lots of pain. Y causaban mucho daño. Dos, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. Ese animal uh, sí existía. Yeah. But this was digging under every... Uh, he's saying that that animal So just say, yeah. Sí. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, don't worry, it's coming back. Uh, if you don't follow Torah, yeah. 9%. Si no siguen el Torah, 9%. Starts this ball game up. Okay, eso es lo que va a empezar este juego. That's what I was talking to Juan about earlier. Eh, y eso es lo que estaba hablando con Juan. People don't realize. Que las personas no this realizan. This is here to show you that God's going to do it again. Que esto está escrito aquí porque Dios lo va a hacer otra vez de nuevo. Now where didn't this happen? Ahora, ¿dónde no pasó esto? Where God's people were. Donde el pueblo de Dios estaba. It didn't happen in Goshen. No pasó en la ciudad de Goshen. The only protection. La única protección. Is to follow God in spirit and in truth. Es de seguir a Dios en espíritu y verdad. Because he says, I'm gonna, if you read the plagues of Deuteronomy 28. Porque si leen las uh, plagas de Deuteronomio 28. And you parallel it with the book of Revelation. Y ustedes hacen ese para, paralelo, lo comparan con el libro de Ap Apocalipsis. You see that all this begins to happen. Podemos ver que todo esto pasa. And the animals don't know their place anymore. Y los animales ya no conocen su lugar. They'll start attacking you. Van a estar atacando. And there's a lot more of them than there are us. Y hay muchos más de ellos que hay de nosotros. And especially of bugs. Especialmente los insectos. Because you'll get tired. Porque tú te vas a cansar. But those bugs will just wait. Y esos, y esos insectos And van a esperar. And they'll start digging under your skin. Y luego van a entrar en tu piel. All because we only got 9%. Solamente porque tenemos 9%. You don't want this to happen. No quieres que esto pase. Because... It doesn't kill you. Porque esto no te va a matar. And remember in the book of Revelation it says they'll want to die but they can't. En el, acuérdense lo que está escrito en el Apocalipsis. Van a querer morir pero no van a poder. You, murder, you commit suicide, you're in hell and it's even worse. Si ustedes cometen eh, eh, el suicidio, van al infierno y eso es más peor. That's why our job is so important. Es por eso que nuestro trabajo es tan importante because you don't want this to, you don't want that first seal open porque no quieres que ese primer sello se abra once it happens cuando pase there's no stopping no va a parar esto sí um i'm i'm thinking that this may be um you know that that uh, what you just said that they want to die but they can't may 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 be speaking of uh the Christian body because they would they they would know you know that uh, they would know that you know if you commit suicide um, that you're gonna end up in hell you know there's been a lot of people in the news lately that have committed suicide I mean 
you know, well-recognized, you know, people, like celebrities. They're being, and, well, the, the bankers are being murdered. Really? Yes. No, but I'm, I'm talking about, like, celebrities also, like uh, reality celebrities. Uh, there was a one uh, designer mm -hmm. that just committed murder and, oh. you know. Well, or, the money or, and the fame committed, doesn't make it happy. Suicide. Yeah. Okay, so, so this one goes against the god Geb. So, uh, así que este, uh, esta plaga va en contra del dios Geb. The god of the soil. El dios de uh, la tierra. Um, he's shown also wearing a crown of the north. Es, uh, podemos ver aquí en la foto que tiene una corona of the north. del norte. Uh -huh. Add the pieces to the puzzle. Okay. <laughs> Vamos a, a cumplir aquí los uh, pedazos del rompecabezas. And he also has um, uh, an It's called an et, uh, Atef crown or a goose on his head. Y, uh, aquí podemos ver que tiene como un ganso uh, arriba de su cabeza llamado un Atef, una corona Atef. Now, now listen to this and listen closely. Ahora escuchen esto y escuchen atentamente. He's also sometimes called the great crackler. Crackler, like cracking like... Okay. <laughs> Cackler is uh, en veces llamado el. Um, let me see what cackler is. Wow. And it's kind of sound like a goose in the shell. Well, d don't worry about it so much. Uh, it's uh, llamado el uh, uh, el dios de uh, el sonido. Cackler. Well, <laughs> well, sonar. And okay. Maybe. And he Geb's laughter is the source of earthquakes. Um. Okay, I'm sorry. Es uh, uh, el dios o se llama el que cacarea. Um, y este dios también uh, simboliza, uh, um, o oh, no, it doesn't symbolize, o que el, um, el risueño de, de este dios causaba temblores. We're noticing we've been having a lot more earthquakes lately. Han notado que hemos tenido más temblores. A lot more earthquakes. Muchos más temblores. Because you don't want to worship God, he's going to show you things. Si no quieres adorar a Dios, él te va a mostrar cosas. He's going to break up your ground. Él va a quebrar la tierra. Going on to the next slide. Okay, continuando con la próxima página. Let's look at Exodus 8, verse 19. Uh, Éxodo 8, versículo 19. Okay. Then the magician said to Pharaoh, this is the finger of God, but Pharaoh was made hard-hearted. So he didn't listen to them just as Jehovah si had said what happened. Okay? So mm. here, God said he was going to harden his heart. Dios dijo aquí que él iba a hacer su, iba a endurecer su corazón. And Pharaoh even said, you know, this is the hand of God, but I'm not going to listen. Eh, el faraón decía aquí, este es el dedo de Dios, pero yo no voy a escuchar. Yeah. Well, if he said, you know, that this is the finger of God, what God is he talking about? Did he know the, you know, well, you know, obviously with the... No, the magician that, said to Pharaoh. The magician said to Pharaoh. This is Pharaoh the didn't want to listen. Okay, así que los uh, hechiceros fueron los que le dijeron, le dijeron al faraón, este es el dedo de Dios, pero el faraón se endureció de corazón. I'm sorry, Rabbi, uh, like... Can we can we see like in the Torah, you know, what what the word of uh, uh, the word God uh, is? Uh, because were they referring to? I'm pretty the sure God, it says the God so. of the Hebrews. The We're looking uh, to get the Hebrew word for. Okay, Esta, estamos viendo la palabra. Uh, el dedo de Dios. ¿Qué Dios estaban hablando los hechiceros? Can we get that down real quick? 819. 819. Okay. Éxodo 8:19.
Elohim. This is the finger of Elohim. Mm. Okay. Es el dedo de Elohim. Yep, Elohim. Right there, Elohim. Mm. Elohim, right there. Wow. So they knew yes, they the did. God. <laughs> they, they, they were, the, the leadership around him was realizing who it was. La, el, uh, los consejeros del faraón estaban realizando quién era el que estaba haciendo esto. Okay. So, um, it was... What does it say? Estoy siguiendo la página, pero está mal la acumulación, la comunicación. Uh, they're asking if they can uh, join the call because uh, add Paula please okay so um, a lot of people just keep getting their hearts harder and harder each time así que muchas veces podemos ver que muchas personas se endurecen del corazón because they don't want to listen and study the word porque no quieren escuchar la palabra y estudiarla so this is going to be harder and harder each and each and every plague that happens gets more difficult. Así que esta plaga que pase más y más se va a poner más difícil. Okay? And Jehovah had said to Moshe before this all started. Jehová le dijo a Moisés antes de que empezara todo esto. That um it uh the Pharaoh would keep his heart hard. Que el faraón iba a quedarse con ese corazón duro. And that's what's going to happen again. Y esto es lo que va a pasar otra vez. Okay. Next slide, 89. Okay, próxima página, 89. Let's go to the fourth plague. Vamos a la cuarta plaga. Uh, Arob. It's called okay. swarming. Esta ya es llamada Arob. Mm -hmm. To swarm. Swarm. Yeah, he has. Because we're made in his image. So he's got a hand. Probably bigger than ours. <laughs> and he wrote the Ten Commandments with his finger. It cuts into the rock. He's left-handed, too, because he right to left. Can you have a, be a spirit in that? Can you can you feel the air? You can't feel the air, right? But it can knock over billboards during a hurricane, can't it? God is spirit and he's flesh. Okay. Yes. Well, didn't he say in Genesis 1, you know, aren't we made, or Genesis 2, sorry, aren't we made in his image? And if you're made in his image, you have a hand, right? So wouldn't you think he has a hand? Genesis 18. And who was wrestling with it, with Israel? He was a man, right? But he was God, right? And who was the man that came to Samson's parents? The angel? Because he went up in the smoke. But he was there and they were talking to him. In the flesh. Mm -hmm. That was Yeshua too. So his spirit, his spirit is the same he connects to his mind. Like He's got the 2.0 body. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, because remember, 
God says, I am not a man, or he is not a man, that he should lie. You know? Right. But so he can become, human, but he can become. But it says, all things were made by his what? By his hands. The hands that formed you in the mother's womb. My hand it formed Jeremiah. I formed you in your mother's mother. hands that formed you in the mother's. I knitted you. How do you knit? <laughs> you, you know, you've knitted before. Crocheted, right? And he wrote. Do you the, need two hands to crochet? And he wrote the Ten Commandments. He and he wrote the Ten Commandments with his, his finger. finger. ¿Quién los hebreos? Metafísico. We'll get back to study in a second there, uh, those online. Okay. Uh, let's bring it on back in and we'll, uh, we can talk about that okay. after class. Uh, hablar de that's, la clase. that's an entirely different subject. Porque eso eh, es otro sujeto. All right, the fourth plague, okay. chapter 8, verse 20. La, 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 la cuarta plaga. Sorry, I'm sorry to interrupt. Um, I think I found about the um, the plague of lies. I think I found the 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 the, 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 the parasite that the God actually sent. The name is Chigofli. Okay. And this one, this one lives in the body, but it go, it goes into the skin, and it says that it leaves um, a skin lesion that is it's about five to ten millimeters, and it looks like a blister. Yeah, I mean, um, well, what we can pull from Scripture is that it did dig under the skin. Lo que podemos ver en las Escrituras es que sí se enterraba dentro de la piel. Because there's been arguments about, shh, there's been arguments about this for centuries. Porque ha habido muchos discursos a través de los uh, siglos. But it said it dug under your skin. Pero dice que sí se enterró dentro de la piel. So whatever it is, whatever you want to call it, it así still lo, dug under your skin. Así que lo, lo que quieras llamar, lo es, uh, entró, entró dentro de la piel. Okay. Uh, so let's read Exodus 8, verse 20 through 24. Así que vamos a ver Éxodo 8, versículo 20 al 24. Jehovah said to Moshe, get up early in the morning, stand before Pharaoh when he goes out to the water and say to him, here's what Jehovah says, let my people go so they can worship me. Otherwise, if you don't, if you won't let my people go, I will send swarms of insects on you, your servants and your people, and into your houses. The houses of the Egyptians will be for, full of swarms of insects, and likewise the ground they stand on. But I will set apart the land of Goshen, where my people live. No swarms of insects will be there. So you can realize that I am Jehovah right here in the land. Yes, I will distinguish between my people and your people. And this sign will happen tomorrow, mañana. And uh, Jehovah did it. Terrible swarms of insects went into Pharaoh's palace and into his, all his servants' houses, and the insects ruined the entire land of Egypt. You know, a lot of times when you get these little bugs, they eat up every living plant. Muchas veces cuando vemos estos insectos, se comen todo tipo de planta. So these swarms of insects were going to eat up, you know, let's say the fruit on the vine. Así que este enjambre de uh, insectos se iba a comer la, uh, la, la, uh, el fruto de la viña. You ever see them, you know, um, like a tomato, how they get into a tomato. Uh, si han visto como entran en los tomates. And it looks like it's good on the outside and you pick it up and it you know, squishes in your hand. Y pueden ver que se mira muy bien el tomate y luego cuando lo toman se deshace. So these swarms were not just going to eat up everything in the land. Así que este enjambre no solamente se iba a, a comer lo que había en la tierra. They're going to go into your houses too. Pero iban a llegar en tus casas. Anybody a ever tried to sleep with mosquitos around? Uh, hay alguien que ha tratado de dormir con mosquitos. Yeah, you know, you'll be sleeping on me. Y estás durmiendo y llega el mosquito aquí dentro de tu oreja. Okay. So first you had the other bugs. Así que tenemos eh, primeramente los otros insectos. And now we're sending another swarming group. Y ahora está uh, 
tiene otra clase. Yes. In, in here it says flies. Uh, yeah, there, that, sometimes correct? it does okay. say flies. So, uh, aquí There's podemos two ver, words. A, aquí podemos ver que hay, uh, son moscas. And the flies are even worse because sometimes you get those flies that bite. Las moscas en veces son peores porque uh, llegan las moscas y en veces unas de ellas uh, también muerden. You ever been down the shore and you know those green flies they bite you? Uh, han ido a la a, a la playa aquí en uh, South Jersey y uh, muerden esas moscas. Okay, so what we can prove by scripture because there's two words that are used. Así que lo que podemos comprobar aquí en las escrituras porque son dos palabras que son usadas. That these, there was going to be so many swarms. Que iba a haber tanto enjambre. That'll be all over the ground that you stand on. Que iba a estar sobre el piso. So whatever was left, now all the bugs are eating up that too. Ahora lo que hubiera quedado, ahora las uh, moscas están comiendo eso también. And if we go on to the next slide, slide number 90. Y si vamos en la próxima página, 90. This, um, th as Juan was saying there, <coughs> excuse me, um, the, the word flies is not in the original. Uh, la palabra moscas no está en el original. More the word is like a mosquito, like swarming bugs. La palabra que es usada es como mosquito. So one thing we can prove is that it is a swarming type of bug. Es un tipo de mosquito que se um, enjambraba. I'm hope, I hope I'm using that word correctly. Okay. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. Um, this was also another god of Egypt. Este era otro dios de Egipto. Uh, Amon Ra. Que el dios de este uh, Amon Ra. Esta plaga era um, era en contra de Amon Ra. Who had the was a king and he had a, the head of a beetle. Que uh, era un rey y tenía la cabeza de un de un tipo de mosca. Let me see if you know. Okay. So it's working its way up to this was a god that Pharaoh liked. Este era un dios que el faraón le gustaba. And it was part of their mummification process. Y era parte de cuando uh, eran uh, 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 puestos en la tumba. Here's the word. Escarbajo. Yeah, the word that I have here is enjambrar. Enjambrar o escarbajo. Yeah, that's what uh, Ariadna wrote. Okay. Escarabajo. Like a scarab beetle. Oh, escarabajo. Okay, the beetle. Okay. Okay, escarabajo. And you know when the pharaohs were buried, they, they took many things with them. Uh, cuando los faraones morían, uh, ellos tomaban todas sus posesiones. Because they thought that they would cross... The lake to the other afterlife. Porque ellos pensaban que iban a cruzar a la próxima vida. And they would need all these things. Y ellos iban a necesitar todas estas cosas. But here, this beetle was part of their what they thought was good. Uh, pero aquí este escambre. Uh, the beetle, what they thought was good. Uh, el escambre que ellos pensaban que era bueno. Now the Lord sending a swarm of these things. Ahora estaba mandando otro enjambre. Okay, then. Uh, uh, we're not going to read it all, um, but in the next slide, la próxima página, verse 24 to 32, versículo 24 al 32, you see what goes on between uh, Pharaoh and Mo Moshe. Podemos ver lo que acontece uh, aquí entre Faraón y uh, Moisés. And then you know, Moses says, we want to go worship our God. Y Moisés le dice, queremos ir a adorar a nuestro Dios. And... Uh, Pharaoh wouldn't let him. Y el faraón no lo dejó. The plague comes. La plaga vino. Then Pharaoh calls Moses back. Luego el faraón llama a Moisés. Intercede otra. for me. Y dice, intercede. On my me. behalf. Uh, uh, de mi parte. Okay. Uh, and then the plague gets taken away. Y luego la plaga uh, es quitada, le, se lo quita. But if you look closer at verse 32, Pero si vemos más el, uh, 32, but this time too, Pharaoh made himself stubborn and he didn't let the people go. Okay? He was going to let them go, then the plague got taken away, and then he didn't let them go. Se iba a dejar el pueblo ir, pero luego se endureció otra vez y no dejó ir al pueblo. 
Okay. So things are now getting worse and worse and worse. Ahora las cosas podemos ver que se están empeorando. Es, es más uh, peor la cosa. Now let's go on the slide number 92. Okay, vamos a la página 92 ahora. The fifth plague was going to be against the livestock of uh, Egypt. La quinta plaga iba a ser en contra de el ganado de, uh, de Egipto. All right, turn to uh, Exodus 9, verse 2 through 5. Vamos a Éxodo, what was it? Uh, chapter 9, verse 2 through 5. 9, versículo 2 al 5. If you refuse to let them go and persist in holding on to them, the hand of Jehovah is on your livestock in the field and on the horses, donkeys, camels, cattle, and flocks, and will make them suffer a devastating illness. But Jehovah will distinguish between Egypt and Israel's livestock. Nothing belonging to the people of Israel will die. Jehovah determined the exact time by saying tomorrow Jehovah will do this in the land. Okay? So we're seeing this a little bit in our country right now. Estamos viendo esto hoy día en nuestro país. Uh, so the, the animals of Egypt were dying. Los animales de Egipto estaban muriendo. But the Jews would not be uh, uh, doing pig. Pero los judíos no iban a estar comiendo el cerdo. What's going on in America right now in 27 states? ¿Qué es lo que está pasando en 27 estados? A devastating illness on all the pigs. Una uh, enfermedad ha pegado a todos los cerdos en 27 estados. What's going on around the globe with all the chickens? ¿Qué es lo que está pasando a través del mundo con los... The avian uh, flu. Con los... Uh, um, los pollos eh, eh, es, tienen el influenza. Where is it not happening? ¿Dónde es donde no está pasando eso? En Israel. En Israel. See the difference? Pueden ver la diferencia. When you're with God and His ways. Cuando estás con Dios y sus maneras. Okay. So we, and it would happen the next day, so they knew what would happen. Así que iba a pasar la pro, el próximo día, así que ellos sabían lo que iba a pasar. But it said on every livestock. Pero dice aquí en todo tipo de ganado. Horses. Caballos. Donkeys. Asnos. Camels. Camellos. Cattle and flocks. Vacas y ovejas. So the, the flocks, you know, so smaller animals. Uh, las ovejas son un uh, poco más uh, uh, pequeño el animal. And this is what's going on around the globe today. Y esto es lo que podemos ver, lo que está aconteciendo a través del mundo. Not a total devastation, but letting you know it's no, about to happen. No una devastación total, pero nos está dando una pista a lo que va a pasar. All right, so let's see what God this was. Next slide. Okay, así que vamos a ver qué Dios se trataba de esto. Okay, the fifth plague was Dever. La quinta plaga era Dever. It was against the domestic animals of Egypt. Era en contra de los animales domésticos de Egipto. It was the god Apis. Y el dios es llamado Apis. The bull god. Que es uh, el dios toro. And the cow-headed Hathor. Uh, y la cabeza de vaca uh, llamado Hathor. Okay, uh... This, as you see the picture at the bottom right hand corner there. This is the God of prosperity. The God of prosperity. And the, the uh, God of God of happiness, dance, and music. Mm, el Dios de la felicidad, del baile. Y de la música. Remember when Moses was coming off the mountain? Acuérdense cuando Moisés estaba bajando de la montaña. And he, he says, Joshua says, it sounds like war. Y a uh, Josué le dice, uh, se escucha como guerra. And Moses goes, no. Y Moisés le dice, no. It's dancing and singing. Es uh, baile y cantar. And what did, uh, what did Aaron make? Y qué fue lo que Aaron hizo? They just popped out. Uh, hizo una, una vaca, un becerro. He, de, made it, he made this God. Hizo un becerro de oro y hizo este Dios. The, uh, the protector of women. Uh, el protector de la mujer. Uh, and this cow has the sun on its head. Y esta vaca tiene el sol arriba de su cabeza. Okay. Hmm. So it was that that's what they were worshiping. Así que eso es lo que ellos estaban adorando. And how did Moses know? ¿Y cómo es que Moisés sabía? He grew up in Egypt. Porque él creció. He knew en, all about these gods. En Egipto, él ya conocía todos that's, estos dioses. That's why he knew. 
It's not war. Pues es por eso que él supo que no era guerra. That's dancing. Eso es baile. It's not the 613 dance. <laughs> No es decir, el baile de 613, It's pero... It's not dancing with the stars. No era baile con uh, las estrellas. Or actually it was dancing with the stars. O era, actualmente era baile con the las estrellas. The pagan stars. Las uh, estrellas paganas. Because it's the god of the heavens, the god of uh, happiness. Es el dios del sol, el uh, dios de la felicidad. The sun brought the happiness. Huh? Uh, it doesn't go back that far, but it's part of what what um, Constantine brought in. Okay. So, esto era, no era um, eh, la adoración del sol, pero esto fue lo que uh, trajo Constantino uh, en, en, en su reino, en uh, Roma. And you see the two pictures of this god here. Y podemos ver dos uh, retratos aquí de ese Dios. And you see on top of this woman, y aquí podemos ver uh, arriba de la cabeza de esta mujer. This topless woman, she's got a skirt on. Uh, tiene uh, un vestido. But she doesn't have a shirt on. Pero no tiene camiseta. Why? ¿Por qué? Because you get milk out of these. Porque recibes la leche. And you get milk out of these. Y recibes la leche. De And you look what's on top of her head. Y puedes ver lo que está arriba de su cabeza. The horns. Uh, eh, tiene um, las, uh, and, los cuernos. And the, and the disc on top of her head. Y tiene ese disco representando el sol. Next uh, play. Uh, we'll go a little further in the play. Ok. Uh, vamos a ver un poco más sobre esta plaga. Exodus 9, verse 6 and 7. Exodus 9, versículos 6 y 7. The following day, Jehovah did it. All the livestock of Egypt died, but not one animal belonging to the people of Israel died. Pharaoh investigated and found that not even one of the animals of the people of Israel had died. Nevertheless, Pharaoh's heart remained stubborn, and he didn't let the people go. Just like you guys in your own lives, maybe? Uh, quizás esto aquí, como en nuestras vidas. Do we get stubborn? Uh, nos endurecemos. And we don't want to do what God wants us to do. Y no hacemos lo que Dios quiere que nosotros hagan. Okay, so this was Pharaoh. Así que esto era el faraón. Pharaoh investigated. El faraón investigó. He found out that none of The Hebrew people's animals died. Y vio que el ganado del pueblo de Israel murió. But I'm, st I'm still going to worship what I'm going to worship. Pero él se endureció y él va a adorar lo que él quiere. Unhighlighted, Tristan, I can't understand what it says. Well, la plaga fue en contra de, de ese Dios. Yes, um, Ariana is asking, uh, the diabetic disease is from from they were able to discover it in Egypt. In Egypt. Uh, el, uh, uh, la enfermedad del diabetes era, fue descubierta en, uh, en Egipto. What's the biggest disease in our country today and the world? Que es la, la enfermedad más grande del mundo. Is diabetes. Es el diabetes. And it kills you nice and slow. Y te mata bien despacio. Because most people do not take care of themselves. Porque muchas personas no se cuidan. They like their sugar way too much. Le gusta el azúcar mucho. Okay. And it'll eventually kill you. Y eventualmente te va a matar. But it's the plague of Egypt. Pero esa es la plaga de Egipto. Because the Egyptians are the first ones to discover what it was. Porque los egipcios fueron los que descubrieron a uh, lo que era. Um, and... Uh, It was called stinky urine because uh, when you're diabetic and your sugar's high, your your urine smells very bad. Uh, cuando uno tiene el azúcar muy alta o el uh, diabetes está fuera de control, el orine uh, apesta mucho. Es uh, muy fuerte. Es muy muy fuerte el orine. No, there there's no cure, uh, uh, Yaakov. There's no there's no cure. Um, That's available. Um, he's asking, is there any cure for diabetes? No, I wish there was. Uh, uh, uno de nuestros hermanos está preguntando si hay, uh, pues se puede sanar el diabetes y desafortunadamente well, no. Well, there actually is, but they don't want to release it. 
Actualmente sí lo hay, pero no quieren decir. In the 90s, um, they started to put islet cells into the pancreas. Just uh, say islet cells. Okay. Uh, en los 90s descubrieron uh, unas células llamadas islet cells. Uh -huh. And it rejuvenated the pancreas. Y uh, uh, formaba, uh, or, um, re renovaba el uh, pancreas, el uh, la okay. páncreas donde se hace el uh, uh, no no el azúcar el, um, well, it's, el it, la insulina it's di for diabetics like my wife who did nothing for those who did nothing to desert, to bring the disease on themselves uh, esto es uh, como mi esposa que no hizo nada que uh, que causara que ella tuviera esta enfermedad. Like my mother and my sister brought oh. the disease on themselves for being morbidly fat. Como mi, er, mi hermana y uh, mi mamá, ellas uh, estaban muy a sobrepeso y ellas uh, trajeron ese, esa enfermedad. If you're 75 to 100 pounds overweight, you're going to bring it on yourself. Si estás 75 a 100 libras uh, de sobrepeso, vas a, a, a traer esa uh, Enfermedad. And my mother and my sister and many other people have brought it on themselves. Y mi mamá, mi hermana y muchas personas han uh, contagiado esta, or han traído esta enfermedad uh, por causa del sobrepeso. But it, it's a sin of gluttony. Pero es un pecado de ser uh, goloso o uh, glotón. Glotón. All right, let's get to the sixth plague. Let's turn to Exodus 9, verse uh, Eight and nine now. Okay, vamos a ver uh, Éxodo 9, versículo 8 y 9 ahora. This next plague is called, uh, well, let's read it. Verse 8 and 9, Jehovah said to Moshe and Aaron, Take handful of ashes from a kiln and let Moshe throw them into the air before Pharaoh's eyes. They will turn into fine dust over all the land of Egypt and become infected sores on men and animals throughout Egypt. So imagine having infected sores all over your body. Así que imagínense tener uh, um, úlceras infectadas uh, en todo el cuerpo. Where you can't sit, you can't stand. Donde no puedes pararte, no te puedes sentar. You can't lay down because it's going to hurt too. No te puedes acostar porque va a doler también. And uh, the, the plague is called Shechin. La plaga se llama Shechin. 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 It means boils. Ah, uh, significa úlceras. Okay. Like leprosy. Como la lepra. Okay. So you'd get boils all over your body. Así que tendrías todas estas ultera, úlceras In, uh, en tu cuerpo. Inflammation. Inflamación. Skin diseases. Uh, enfermedad de la piel. That's why um, there's a, you know, lots in Leviticus about how to get rid of certain skin diseases. Por eso es lo que está escrito en Levítico de cómo deshacerse de um, enfermedades de la piel. But you see this plague is also against the animals and the men. Pero también podemos ver que esta eh, enfermedad estaba afectando a los hombres y a los animales. Throughout all of Egypt. Uh, a través de la, del pueblo okay. um, de Egipto. You got it? Well, let's just move on from it. Just okay. Okay. Um, the, moving on to slide number 96. Okay. Uh, página 96. Uh, the sixth wonder, and it's interesting it's a number six because six is a number of man. Es muy interesante esta plaga número seis porque el seis representa el hombre. Okay. This was against the bodies of people. Esto fue en contra de los cuerpos del um, de gentes, and de the personas. root of this word means to burn. Y la raíz de esta palabra significa quemar. Okay, so you also see this in the book of Revelation. Así que podemos ver esto en el libro de Apocalipsis también. They want to die, but they can't. Quieren morir, pero no pueden. Imagine being in so much pain. Imagínate estar en tan, tanto dolor. That you can't sleep. Que uh, no puedes dormir. You can't do anything. 
no puedes hacer nada. But you can't eat. Pero no puedes comer. Because you got all this burning going on. Porque te estás quemando. You can't lay down. No te puedes acostar. That's what this sixth plague was all about. Esto era lo que se trataba esta sexta plaga. Okay. This uh, was against the gods of medicine in Egypt. Estos eran en contra de los dioses de la medicina. And here in the picture you do see the Ankh. Y aquí en, uh, en este uh, retrato podemos ver uh, el llamado Ankh, okay. que es esa cruz con la cabeza hacia arriba. Okay. This was against medical arts. Esto era en contra de las artes de medicamentos. And we're having a lot of that problem in our world today. Y estamos teniendo ese problema en nuestro mundo hoy día. We were just talking to somebody before the class. Estábamos hablando con alguien antes de la clase. And she was taking man-made medicines. Y ella estaba tomando medicinas hechas por hombres. And the medicines were doing more damage than the pain she was in. Y los medicinas, el medicamento que ella estaba tomando, le estaban haciendo más daño que eh, el, la, lo que tiene. Because you could take, lo que padece de ella. You could take a medicine for your pain. Um, así que puedes tomar medicina para tu dolor. But after a little while, pero después, that medicine that you're taking for the pain, esa medicina que estás tomando para el dolor, has other side effects. Tiene otros efectos. It's going to affect your kidneys and your livers. Que va, que va a afectar, que va a afectar tus, and just come here and get tus uh, riñones y tu uh, hígado. Just put that on your ear and say hello. Hello. Okay. So this was against the god Apis. Así que este era en contra del dios Apis. Serapis. Serapis. Okay. And Imhotep. Y Imhotep. Okay. And these were all the medicines that we had in Egypt. Okay. Did you hang up on? Uh, oh, yeah. hung up. Y era, uh, esto era en contra de los dioses de la medicina. Okay. Um, This was also against a, um, these gods filled many roles. Y estos uh, dioses uh, uh, cumplían con muchos papeles. And that these gods would go across the sky from one end to the other. Y estos dioses cruzaban el cielo de un lado al otro. Like the sun. Como el, el uh, sol. That's why you had the sun on the cow god. Es por eso que tienes el sol arriba de ese dios uh, becerro. Okay, going on to slide number 97. Okay, uh, Viendo la página 97. Okay. Um, this um, Exodus 9, verse 10 through 15. Exodus 9, versículo 10 al 15. So they took ashes from the kiln, stood in front of Pharaoh, and threw them in the air, and they became infected sores on men and animals. The magicians could even stand in Moshe's presence because of the sores which were on them and on the other Egyptians. But Jehovah made Pharaoh hard hearted. So he didn't listen to them. Just as Jehovah said to Moshe, Jehovah said to Moshe, get up early in the morning, stand before Pharaoh and say to him, here's what Jehovah says, let my people go so they can worship me. For this time I will infect my plagues on you there, yourself and your officials and your people so that you can realize that I am without equal in all the earth. By now I could have stretched out my hand and struck you and your people With such severe plagues that you wouldn't have been wiped, you would have been wiped off the earth. But it is for this very reason that I've kept you alive to show you my power, and so that my name may resound through the whole earth. Amen. This is Amen. for even us today. Esto es para nosotros hasta hoy día. As we see, if you read the book of Revelation, como podemos ver si leen el libro de Apocalipsis, that this stuff happens. Que esto otra vez ocurre. And it testifies of the Lord. Y esto da testimonio al Señor. This is why the message was this past Shabbat. Es por eso que el mensaje fue este Shabbat pasado, este reposo. You can't start repenting once this all starts happening. No puedes arrepentirte cuando esto esté ocurriendo. You just got to live through it. Tienes que vivir el tiempo que estás pasando. And this is what Jehovah is saying. Y esto es lo que Jehová está diciendo. He's looking for his people. Él está buscando a su pueblo. He's looking for the ten. Él está buscando a sus that diez. stand against. Que es, se paran firmes en contra. So if somebody asks you about God at work. Así que si alguien te hace la pregunta de Dios en el trabajo. Don't worry about 
If you're going to get fired or not. No te ocupes si te van a, a despedir. Because God, God is the one who keeps your job. Porque Dios es el que mantiene tu trabajo. You tell people the truth. Tú les dices la verdad. You want to talk about your pagan crap? That's fine. Si tú quieres hablar de tus cochinadas eh, paganas. I'm going to tell you about good things. Yo te voy a decir de cosas buenas. And God warns us before he smacks us. Y Dios nos da esa advertencia antes de que nos dé esa paliza. And that's why he's saying here. For this very reason. Y es por eso, esta razón. I'm doing this. Yo estoy haciendo esto. To show my power. Para mostrar mi poder. Plague number seven. Okay, plaga, slide number 98. Plaga número siete, uh, página 98. The seventh plague is called Barad. It means hail. Uh, la séptima plaga se llama Barad o hail, que es granizo. Exodus 9, verse 17 to 19, please. Uh, Exodus 9, versículo 17 al 19. Since you are still setting yourself up against my people and not letting them go, tomorrow about this time I will cause a hailstorm so heavy that Egypt has had nothing like it from the day it was founded until now. Therefore, send and hurry to bring indoors all your livestock and everything else you have in the field, for hell will fall on every human being and every animal left in the field that hasn't been brought home. They will die. So here, once again, we're seeing a lot of signs in the heavens. Así que podemos ver aquí que hay muchas señales en los cielos. More asteroids going by our planet than ever before. Muchos asteroides están pasando sobre nuestro planeta que en, en, en ningún otro tiempo. And what happens in Revelation? ¿Qué es lo que pasa en Apocalipsis? Seventy pound hailstones. Siete uh, uh, granizo de 70 libras. Why? ¿Por qué? Because he already said it's going to show you his power. Porque él ya dijo, voy a mostrar ese poder. And every day there is a new sighting, you know, a thing happening in the heavens. Cada día hay una señal, hay, hay señales que están pasando en el cielo. And Yeshua said, when you see these signs in Yesh the heavens. Yeshua dijo que cuando miren estas señales en los cielos. Why did he say it? ¿Por qué lo dijo? Because, he, and who was he talking to? ¿Y a quién estaba hablando con él? Was he talking to Pentecostals? Estaba hablando con los Pentecostales. Was he talking to the Catholics? Estaban hablando con los católicos. Talking to the Jews. Estaba hablando con los judíos. And every judíos. year we did what? Y cada año hacíamos qué? Celebrated Pesach. Celebramos la Pascua. He says, look up. Miren arriba. You better get your animals in. Y vale más que traigan sus animales. And bring everything indoors. Y todo dentro de sus casas. Because now everything that's left. Porque ahora todo lo que va a quedar. Is going to be crushed by this hell. Va a ser aplastado por uh, todo, todo este granizo. Go to uh, slide 100. Vamos a la página 100. 100 is two slides there, Tristan. Okay. Now, remember, Egypt is a desert. Ahora acuérdense que Egipto es un desierto. And there's virtually no rain. Y no hay lluvia. The seventh plague was hail coming from heaven. La séptima plaga fue granizo que estaba cayendo del cielo. Now, this was against three different gods. Ahora, esto era en contra de tres dioses. Shu, the wind god. Llamado Shu, el dios del viento. Nut, the sky goddess. Nut, que es eh, la diosa de los cielos. And Horus, the hawk-headed sky god of Upper Egypt. Y Horus, que era uh, un, um, que tenía la cabeza de una águila um, a, arriba de su cabeza. So you see, everything is starting to go up, up, up. Así que vemos que cada plaga sube a otro nivel más alto eh, en eh, refiriéndose a los dioses de Egipto. So remember, it started with water. Así que acuérdense que empezó con el agua. And it went up to the ground. Y luego llegó a la tierra. And it started with, you know, little bugs getting under your skin. Y luego llegó a los insectos que llegaban dentro de And now, now we get tristeza. hell coming down from heaven. Ahora tenemos ese granizo que está cayendo de los cielos. This is where the gods and our gods went in. Eso es donde esos dioses y nuestro Dios los está derrotando. The God of Abraham seven. Eh, el Dios de Abraham siete. And the Yankees nothing. Y los Yankees nada, cero. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so moving on to slide 101. Así que continuando con la página 101. Let's read verse, uh, chapter 9, verse 23 through 34. Vamos a ver el libro de Éxodo 9, versículo 23 al 34. 
once you reached out the staff toward the sky, and Jehovah sent thunder and hail and fire and rain down to earth. Jehovah caused it to hail in the land of Egypt. It hailed fire, flashed up hail. It was terrible, worse than any hailstorm in all of Egypt since it became a nation. Throughout all the land of Egypt, the hail struck everything in the field, people, animals, and the hail struck every plant growing in the field and broke every tree there. But in the land of Goshen, in the land of Goshen, where the people of Israel were, there was no hail. Pharaoh summoned Moshe and Aaron and said to them, This time I have sinned. Jehovah is right. And I and my people are wrong. You think? Intercede with Jehovah. We can't take it anymore. This is terrible thunder and hail. And I will let you go and you will stay no longer. Moshe said to him, As soon as I have gone out of the city, I will spread out my hands to Jehovah and the thunder will end. And it won't be any more hail. So that you can know that the earth belongs to Jehovah. But you and your servants, I know you still won't fear Jehovah Elohim. The flax and the barley were ruined. Because the barley was ripe. The flax was flax and bud. But the wheat and the buckwheat were not ruined because they came, they came up later. Once she went out of the city, away from Pharaoh, and spread out his hands to Jehovah, and the thunder and hail ended, and the rain stopped pouring down on earth. Pharaoh saw the rain, hail, and thunder had ended. He sinned still more by making himself hard-hearted. He and his servants. Pharaoh was made hard-hearted, and they didn't let the people of Israel go, just as Jehovah had said to Moshe. Isn't this, you know, you went up and prayed over that person. Oraste uh, con esa persona. Now let me ask you a question, Carvalho. Ahora vamos a, déjate hago esta pregunta. Did you say you want God's blessing? To that woman? Tú le dijiste, ¿quieres la bendición de Dios? And then she said yes. Y ella dijo, Because Carmen sí. shaking her head yes. But what did you say to her? I, I, I just want to know if like, it played out just like this. Uh-huh. She's willing to do anything. Uh huh. Right. Yeah, we expect a little bit more from Pharaoh too. Right, but she was like Pharaoh. Oh, yeah. Her heart got hardened. <laughs> right, Sandy? Yeah, like I said, but it's like when, when she, um, like I said, she could never call out back. But she got healed. She didn't have to do the surgery. No, but even for that, but you got to think about people can't heal just because she didn't have surgery. There was a picture that I saw how she was blew up. But wasn't she supposed to go for surgery that next day, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. She, she did, she did, but they had her on several days before. Uh huh. Um, so she had to go for surgery, and then again, all these times she came out from the state and had to take liquid and everything. And and the thing is that she is she she can do something like that because um, she knows about the holy things. So she knows about the oh, yeah. she knows about the roots, the Jewish roots, you know, the Hebrew roots. And and she you know for my mom. And your cousins, just like Pharaoh. Yeah, a lot of them. Uh huh. A lot of them. But I want, I want that. What we're talking about, everybody, if you didn't hear it well. Okay, lo que estamos hablando aquí. Was this person that got healed? Es esta persona que fue sanada. And then they brought, bringing, going. You got to start worshiping on the holy days. Y se les fue dicho a esa persona que tienes que celebrar los días santos. She wanted the blessing of taking away the sickness. Ella quería esa bendición de poder sanar, ser sanada. But Pharaoh wanted 
the sickness taken away. El faraón quería que se quitara esa enfermedad. He wanted the hail taken away. Él quería ese granizo que fuera But as soon desecho. as it was, pero después de que pasó, he turned back. Se endureció de corazón. Same what happened to that person. Lo mismo pasó con esa persona. We haven't changed in all these years. No hemos cambiado en todos estos años. But we'll see what happens in the end. Pero vamos a ver lo que pasó al final. You think it stuck with Pharaoh? It didn't, it didn't. And so what did he have to lose? Yeah. So will this person. Because God doesn't change. Was Pharaoh under grace? The law was let my people go. Well, don't worry. The book of Revelation is going to play out and they're going to see it God's way. Mm -hmm. All right, the eighth plague. I want to okay. try to get through the plagues tonight. Uh, la plaga ocho, octava. Uh, the plague of locusts, barba. La plaga de langostas, uh, llamado... Lobsters? Uh, langostas, al, uh, arba. Okay, Exodus 10, verse 1 through 6. Okay, Exodus 10, versículo 1 al 6. Exodus 10, verse 1 through 6. Jehovah said to Moshe, go to Pharaoh, and I have made him and his servants hard-hearted so that I can demonstrate these signs of mine among them so that you can tell your son and your grandson about what I did in Egypt and about my signs that I demonstrated among them and so that you will all know that I am Jehovah. Moshe and Aaron went into Pharaoh and said to him, here's what Jehovah Elohim, God of the Hebrews says, how much longer will you refuse to submit to me? Huh? Let my people go that they can worship me. Otherwise, if you refuse to let my people go, tomorrow I'll bring locusts into your territory. Oh, uh, one won't be able to see the ground so completely with the locusts cover it. They will eat everything, anything that was, you still have that escaped the hell, including every tree that's growing in the field. They will fill your houses, those of your servants and the Egyptians. It would be like nothing your fathers, your fathers have ever seen since the day they were born until today. And he turned back and left. The thing is, this is going on in the Middle East. It's gone on for the last couple of summers. Lo que pasó, eh, lo que ha pasado en el Medio Oriente, esto ha pasado eh, veranos pasados. And the Lord is trying to get both people's attention. Donde el Señor está tratando de llamar la atención a los dos pueblos. Because the locusts even came to Israel, not in as bad as it did Egypt. Porque todas estas, uh, I'm sorry, say again. The locusts, some of them came to southern Israel. Las langostas llegaron a el Last sur, summer. al sur de Israel el verano pasado. Um, but it's a sign from heaven. Pero son señales del cielo. Because they'll eat up everything else. Porque van a comerse todo. Locusts eat up everything. Lo, estos insectos comen todo. But where's the blessing in this one? Pero ¿dónde está la bendición en esto? Do you see a blessing in this? Uh, ¿Vemos una bendición en esto? Jephthah? Locusts are kosher. You can eat them. There was no food left, so the Lord said, here, you can eat these. No había comida, así que el Señor dijo, cómete este. It's good with some insecto. guacamole. Uh, es bueno con guacamole. Will there oh, be the no guacamole? The guacamole up because they, they ate the tree. There would be no guacamole. <laughs> <laughs> no salsa. You're just going to have to eat them raw and wiggly. <laughs> raw and wiggly. Okay? So the Lord sent this, and is this against the God? Oh, yes, it is. Next okay. slide. Así que esto fue en contra de este Dios. Uh, sí, lo fue. Okay? This was against, once again, it was against three gods. Esto fue en contra de tres dioses. It was against Nepri, the grain god. Era en contra de Nepri, el, uh, el dios del grano. The god Ermutet. El dios Ermutet. Which was the goddess of childbirth and crops. Mm, que era eh, la diosa de el uh, parto de niños y uh, um, uh, cosechas. And it was also against Anubis, the guardian of the fields. 
y Anubis, que era el guardia de los campos. Ok, so here the Lord is taking away everything completely. Así que el Señor está quitando todo completamente. Um, the other interesting thing is this, um, um, this God kept away the poisonous rats and snakes. Este, este Dios quitaba las uh, um, uh, serpientes venenosas y las ratas. What's going on in England? ¿Qué es lo que está pasando en Inglaterra? They're being overrun with rats. Ellos tienen el problema de muchas ratas. Now what did England do a couple of months ago? ¿Qué es lo que Inglaterra hizo hace unos They uh, took meses? God out of their court system. Ellos quitaron a Dios del sistema de la corte. Burned a bunch of babies over e the winter. Ellos están quemando uh, bebés abortados. The God of Mo Moloch. El Dios Moloch. And now a person has gotten tuberculosis. Ahora una persona ha contagiado eh, el, um, tuberculosis. From a cat. De un gato. How did the cat get tuberculosis? ¿Cómo es que un gato recibió ese tuberculosis? From the flea, from the rat. De la, el, um, uh, la pulga. And the cat scratched the person. Y la per, um, el gato eh, rasguñó a la persona. Or bit the person. O lo mordió. You know how cat bites your finger? Uh, en veces los gatos uh, te muerden el dedo. Oh, well, you don't want to follow me? I'll send you a sign. Si no quieres seguirme, yo te voy a mandar esa señal. No. Okay. Uh, okay, and just to clear up, locust. Okay, I'm going to read you several, uh, uh, several uh, insects. Okay, so one is langosta. The second one is chapulín. Okay, cicada, cigarra, chicharra, acacia blanca, or saltamonte. <laughs> <laughs> so the, that's the the insect that uh, they yeah so so there so there were a lot of them so <laughs> so I used the top one langosta <laughs> and let's let's go to slide number 105 we're gonna skip uh, okay vamos a la página 105 we're gonna go to the ninth plague okay vamos a la plaga número 9 is Choshech okay is Choshech Choshech not Horshech Choshech Choshech <laughs> <laughs> okay, it means darkness. Que significa obscuridad. Obscurity, same word. Okay, Exodus 10, verse 21 to 23. Okay, Exodus 10, versículo 21 al 23. Jehovah said to Moshe, reach out your hand toward the sky, and there will be darkness over the land of Egypt, darkness so thick it could be felt. Moshe reached out his hand toward the sky, and there was a thick darkness in the entire land of Egypt. For three days, hmm. people could see, couldn't see each other, and no one went anywhere for three days, but all the people of Israel had the light in their homes. Mm. Hmm. Sounds like that happened to the disciples. Eso parece que uh, pasó con los discípulos. They didn't go anywhere for three days. Ellos no salieron por tres días. But darkness so thick it could be felt. Pero la uh, obscuridad tan fuerte que se podría sentir. Remember when Mes Messiah died? Acuérdense cuando murió el Mesías. It got dark in the middle of the day. Se obscureció en mediodía. What happens in the book of Revelation? ¿Qué es lo que pasa en el libro de Apocalipsis? Third of the moon and the third of the sun disappears. Un tercio de the la third luna. Third of the stars. Un tercio de la luna y un tercio de um, el sol y las estrellas. It's going to get a little dark. Se va a poner un poco um, un poco oscuro. You know, we have nuclear war. Si tenemos esa guerra nuclear. It's, uh, you're crushing the mic. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, it's going to get a little dark. Se va a poner un poco oscuro. Because we're going to have a nuclear winter. Porque vamos a tener un invierno nuclear. Go ahead. Um, now, if the moon disappears for, you know, a third of the moon disappears, it's going to make it a little bit rough, you know, trying to figure out when the new moon and all that stuff is uh, going to happen. That's, that's going to be kind of rough. We'll get to that point when we get to that point. <laughs> All right. Uh, this uh, yeah. this was the wow. one the second highest God slide 106. Okay. Esto es el uh, Dios eh, número dos. This was against Ra, the sun god. Okay. Esto fue en contra del Dios llamado Ra, que es el Dios del sol. And there you see a picture of like the sun on his head. Y ahí podemos ver en esta foto um, 
el uh, dios uh, Ra de Egipto But it's also like sol, a cobra. pero también es como una, una serpiente, una cobra so this was taken away their son this was a desert así que esto se le fue quitado la luz esto es un desierto ok, going on to slide number 107 ok, continuando con la uh, página 107 let's read uh, Exodus 10 verse 24 to 28 vamos a Éxodo 10 versículo 24 al 28 Pharaoh summoned Moshe and said, Go worship Jehovah, only leave your flocks and your herds behind. This guy just doesn't learn. <laughs> your children may go with you. Moshe answered, You must also see to it that we have sacrifices and burnt offering, so we can sacrifice Jehovah our Elohim. Our livestock will also go with us. Not a hoof will be left behind because we must choose some of the, them to worship our Jehovah our Elohim. And we don't know which ones we will need to worship Jehovah until we get there. But Jehovah made Pharaoh hard hearted. And he wouldn't let them go. Pharaoh said to him, get away from me. And you had better not see my face again because the day you see my face, you will die. And Moses said, well spoken. Oh, that was in the movie. Okay. Um, so here we're going on to, um, you know, Pharaoh just doesn't want to listen. Aquí el faraón no quiere escuchar. His entire empire is now in ruins. Su imperio está arruinado. It's like America. Como America. All right, and then finally, we're going on the, slide, the next slide, the 10th plague. Ahora, la plaga número 10. Marcat Bacharot. Marcat Bacharot. Slaying of the firstborn. Um, Now Pharaoh's going to listen. Ahora el faraón va a escuchar eh, la muerte del primogénito. Exodus 11, verse 1 through 6. Okay, Exodus 11, versículo 1 al 6. Okay, Exodus 11, verse 1 through 6. Jehovah said to Moshe, I'm going to bring still one more plague on Pharaoh in Egypt. And after that, he will let you leave here. When he does let you go, he will throw you out completely. Now tell the people that every man is to ask his neighbor and every woman her neighbor for gold and silver jewelry. Jehovah made the Egyptians favorably disposed toward the people. Where Moshe was regarded by Pharaoh's servants and the people as a very great man in the land of Egypt. Moshe said, here's what Jehovah says about midnight. I will go out into Egypt. And all the firstborn in the land will die. From the firstborn of Pharaoh sitting on his throne to the firstborn of the slave girl at the handmill. And all the firstborn of the, of the livestock. There will be horrendous wailing throughout the land of Egypt. There's never been another like it. And there never again, but not even a dog's growl will be heard against any of the people of Israel, neither against the people nor the animals. In this way, you will realize that Adonai distinguishes between the Egyptians and Israel. Now, how did he distinguish? Ahora, ¿cómo es que pudo distinguir entre los egipcios y Israel? And why does Yeshua say, do this in memory of me? ¿Y por qué dice Yeshua, hagan esto en memoria a mí? Well, we had the blood on our door. Donde tenemos la sangre en la puerta. And we were doing the Passover. Y estamos haciendo la Pascua. Now, were there Gentiles doing it? Ahora, ¿había gentiles? Yeah. Sí. At the Jews' house. En la casa del judío. But how did the Gentile get in? Pero, ¿cómo es que el gentil entró? Okay, tuvo que Just like little David did today. Como David pequeño lo hizo ahora. Okay, now we can sit at the table. Ahora podemos you want estar, through today? Ahora podemos sí. sentarnos en Same doctor. Mesa. Same one Steve did too. Yeah, we should get like discounted rates. <laughs> um, so here... You don't get to sit at the table. Ahora aquí no podemos sentarnos en la mesa. And have death pass you over. Y tener la muerte que sobrepase. Unless you become part of the covenant. A no ser de que uno se haga parte del pacto. So God was going to take life away from those who didn't want to follow him. Así que Dios le iba a quitar la vida a aquellos que no quieran celebrar, no quieran, uh, I'm sorry, that didn't want to. That didn't want to follow him. Que no querían seguirlo a él. This is why it's so important to do this. Es por eso que es muy importante hacer esto. Because if the battle of the gods, ours won. Porque la batalla de los dioses, nuestro Dios ganó. And if you don't want to follow his rules, y si no quieres seguir sus reglas, then you're making yourself to be a god. Entonces tú te estás haciendo 
Dios te and any donkey that says we don't have to follow these anymore y cualquier burro que diga is, que no, que no tenemos que seguir esto ya más. is making themselves out to be a God ellos se están convirtiéndose se están haciendo como Dios Jehová said to do this. porque Jehová dijo hagan esto and if you don't want to be circumcised because Paul said so you're y, stupid y si no quieres circuncidarte porque Pablo lo dijo eres un estúpido because you don't get to sit at the table porque tú no vas a sentarte en esa mesa unless you are if you're a man al no ser si eres hombre and the other part about you got to have your heart circumcised y esa parte de tener en nuestro corazón circuncidado because there is only one God porque solamente hay un Dios and he only had one he had only one son y solamente tuvo un hijo who inherited this kingdom que uh, heredó este reino and he lets you become part of that kingdom y él permite que seas parte de ese reino if you're willing to be obedient si eres dispuesto a ser obediente but if you want to harden your heart pero si quieres endurecer tu corazón go ahead entonces, I don't recommend it. Yo no lo recomiendo. Pharaoh had to lose everything. Faraón tuvo que uh, perder todo. And even his son. Hasta su hijo. What did God say in the commandments? ¿Qué fue lo que Dios dijo? I'll put your sins on your kids. Yo voy a poner tus pecados en tus hijos. And God's the same. Y Dios es el mismo. He put Pharaoh's sins on his children. El, or his fa child. el faraón puso sus pecados en su Primogénito. And he also did it to David. Y también lo hizo a David. You sinned and you murdered. Tú pecaste y tú um, uh, asesinaste. So he took his son away. Así que él le quitó a su hijo. God is the same. Dios es el mismo. Betsy. She, she's saying that uh, what you're saying is true because uh, she's saying her mother that doesn't want to follow God. My brothers have. Uh, oh, that they're they're going against their mother. Her brothers are like going against her. Like, And uh, she says that right now she doesn't recognize her mother. Lord will take everything away. Your mom's been sick. So, so, so she says that you know that that all these things are happening to her because of her disobedience. She says I had told her previously, but she didn't. You know. She was here. Say. She's telling her, you know, for her to speak with God and, you know, for her to come to repentance and, uh, you know, for him to show her uh, his way. But she says that she doesn't say anything. She will not say anything. So she's saying, you know, that um, that um, if she doesn't, you know, repent, you know, the enemy wants to see her go down, you know, and uh, and uh, she's saying that what's happening in her family and that, you know, her part of the family she's never seen before. It's a choice. Pharaoh had a choice. Yeah. We all have choices. Mm -hmm. So don't worry. The Lord is making signs and wonders all over the place. Why don't we just uh, end in prayer? Okay, vamos a terminar en That way we can uh, save Robinson from the children. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> thank you, Lord, for your blessings today. Thank you, Lord, for your signs and wonders. May our hearts turn towards you. May this be a most blessed Pesach for you, where thousands of people come and turn and repent towards Amen. you. Amen. In your name, Yeshua. Amen. Amen. Okay, go ahead, Ariana. I'm sorry, Rabbi. Um, is that 